welcome people i want to say welcome back again today is monday and we are back again i'm sorry for the long break thank god that i'm back and as we begin you know guys monday monday is where we come and study the scriptures together and we bring in some everyday topics that can carry us through the week monday monday is all about us going into the bible going into the scriptures, learning how to read our Bible. Yes, I know there are Bible, there are preachers, different, different, talk about uh, pre different, different preachings out there on social media, different, different clips, different, different videos about the Word of God. But it's also good for you to go into the Bible and get the first hand message from God. Yes, so that's why it's all about putting us into the Bible. Mm -hmm. When we get to start to read the Bible each and every day, bit by bit, it will become a habit for us. So has, has our Lord said that it is mandatory that we all share the word of God. We share it with each other. So my beautiful people, I'm back and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you're going to be notified whenever I upload new video. My channel is all about being informed, inspired and motivated simply by Boyner. My name is Boyner and this is my channel. You are most welcome. And so before we begin Monday, Monday, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, for giving us a new day, a new beginning, and a new life. That we will live it the way you want us to live it. But you know we cannot do it on our own. So we call you in our midst. As we go to study your words, let your Holy Spirit lead us, direct us, and put into us. Because it is not our words, but your words that will be inspired, learn, and live according to it. For this and many more that pray to Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> so today, my topic for today is put God first. Yes. Put God first. Let it be all about God. And our scripture today is taken from Matthew 6. From verse 20, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 33. Yes. So, guys, if you have your Bible, you can please turn with me to Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 33. And for you know that this is a Bible study, even though it's not live. Yes, but it's a Bible study. I'm learning. And so I bring it out to share it with you guys that we all should learn together to, to study the scriptures together. Yeah. Day by day, day in, day out. Yes. If you go back in on um, Monday Monday, we when we started Monday Monday, we used to be bringing episodes. But we are done with those episodes. We're going to be coming every morning with a topic and the scriptures that we will dwell on for the week. You can take it into your Bible studies to your, your, your spiritual people and you can look into it. You can add up to what I say. You can subtract to what I say. Like I said, I'm learning and so I want us to learn together. Yes. So let's go into the scripture. So we have... Matthew chapter 6, mm -hmm. from verse 25 to 33. So let me read that from verse 25. Okay, it's easier. <clears throat> that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food to drink or enough clothes to wear. Is in life more than food? Okay, I'm reading from the Spiritual Growth Bible. That's the kind of Bible I have because it's a learning Bible. It's a steady Bible. Yeah, it's, it's called the Spiritual Growth Bible. It says, Is in life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in bands. 
for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the ladies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will I eat? What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And He will give you everything you need. Hallelujah. Okay, so like I said, our today's topic is put God first, let it be all about God. We are created by God. We are all God's people. We are all God's children. There's this one I say, all God's children are God's children. All God's children, to be God's children, you must be born again. We are all God's children. We all have sinned. For the Bible says that for we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If we look at our sins, we will, we will, do, we will not want to come closer to God. Yes. I'm that, yeah, I'm not perfect. I'm not telling you that I'm without sin. But he, God, he forgives our sins. But it's not because he forgives our sins so we should continue living in sin. And so, these things that he's talking about here, that dominate our mind, our thinking, because these are things that occupy us. These are things that, that make us so desperate that we go about doing certain things. These are things that when we see our fellow men have, we begin envious and jealous. And we want to harm them to get what they have. These are things that we worry about, especially when some of us don't have a job. You worry about what you will eat. How will you take care of your family? How will you take care of your children? Some of us worry about clothes. What would I wear today? Oh, what would I wear to that wedding? Oh, I don't have clothes. I don't even have clothes to go to church. We worry about our needs. These things are our needs. You need clothes. You need food. You need homes. What would I put on my body? Where would I sleep? Where would I eat? These are our necessity. And God in his same war has promised to provide our needs according to his riches in glory. And what he's saying here in Matthew 6, 25, 23, he's telling us not to worry about these things. Because he said we shouldn't worry about it, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't go and work for it. But we shouldn't be desperate for it. We shouldn't allow our whole mind to be seeking after these things and forget about him, God. He is the provider. And so if he said, don't worry about it, I will provide all of these things for you. Wish me. And then he also said, put me first, seek me first. Why are you seeking these things and you forgetting about me? Because some of us, we go to job and we work at this job 
Yes, this is true. This is something that I know and I've seen. We work at these jobs 24-7. Every day in, day out, from Sunday to Sunday. How will you have time for God? And I'm telling you, it's not only by going to the house of God, going to church, make you to have time for God. You can have time for God in your home. You can have time for God with your family. You can even have time for God at your job. But when you occupy your mind desperately in the need of these things, some people can say, I come. Where I come into a foreigner, I come to hustle and come to play. So if you have that mindset that you come to hustle, you will not want to take up time to seek God. All you want to do is hustle. And at the end of the day, what's your gain? But when we put God first... When we seek him first, when it's all about him, because that's what he wants us to do. That's why he put us on this earth. It's not for us to be running over. Oh, I got to pay my bills. I got to pay my rent. Oh, I got to put food on the table. These are important things. Yes, it is. No joke. We can work for it. That's why he gave us hands. He gave us the ability. He said what we do is where we get our daily bread from. So we have to work for it. But in so doing, we should put him first. Before going to that job, seek God. Before looking for that job, seek God. Put it before God. Excuse me. Ask him if it's the job that he has for you. Tell him that you want a job. Because he said he know all of that. So he knows that you, you have a need. But he want us to ask him first. He want us to put it before him. He don't want us to bypass him and go and do it on our own. But in so doing, when we seek him, when we put him first, in putting him first, we pray to him daily. We're reading his words. That by reading his, his words, it's going to be transforming us day by day. And prayer also transform your life. I'm telling you, praying continuously and daily, it transforms your life. The Holy Spirit coming to you and take over. Reading the Word of God transforms you daily because you can't tell me that you will come to read the Word of God and then you get up from there and then you go to do something else. Going to church, the preaching, going to a true Bible-believing church, not just by going to church, going to church to worship God. A true Bible believing church. During the will of God, He said we should love our neighbor as ourselves. We should love our enemy. We should share. We should love. We should be hospitable. We should we should we should give. We should help each other. All of these things that God wants us to do. When we do it, he said, those things that are our need, that will stress ourselves, we shouldn't stress ourselves. Because then, then we, are, we are unbelievers, because unbelievers are people that don't believe in God. So when we believe in God, we trust in God, we should know that God will supply all of our needs. So when we worry about those things, that's why we take our focus from God. And then we put our focus on those things. And then we leave God out. And he don't want that. He telling us in Matthew 6, 25, 33, he said, I was provide for you. Seek me first. He, tell, he said, look at the birds. The birds fly in the sky. You see any working place there for them? But they eat every now and then. The beautiful flowers. Then we, God made us in our, in his image and likeness. And he, and he make us so powerful over every living thing. We human beings, we are so, so powerful. If you don't know that you are powerful, you should know this today. You have power. You have authority. God gave it to you. He gave you authority over every living thing that walked, that creeped this earth. God gave us that power and that authority. So all of this that he gave to us, that he make us like him. You want to tell me that he will just forget about us? You want to tell me that he don't know you and he made you that way? You want to tell me that he don't know that you have to eat? He don't know that you need place to stay? He don't know that you need clothes to wear? He know all of that. But when we put him first, we should not be after this thing, but we should put him first and seek him first. I tell you, my beautiful people. 
Praying and reading the Bible is two different things. You can pray and you can read the Bible together, which is good. But don't just pray and forget about reading the Bible. Pray and read the Bible and you will understand the word of God for your life. Because it will transform your life. That I tell you today, if you are that person that working at two, three jobs, you have family to feed that you say, ah, I'm going to church today. Or let God wait, God will understand. I'm telling you, go into the world of God and pray. You will understand the word of God and know what God plans for your life is. And you will seek him and not that job or that money that he can take that job from you anytime. But when you put God first, even the thing that you ask him for, he will give it to you. Because he knows what you need more than you yourself. So my beautiful people, there is more on this uh, scripture. Yes, more and more on this scripture. So you can go into it. Yeah, you can go into it and study it. Study it. There are more things that we can learn from this scripture. I could go on and on and on. Yes, but I don't want to make this video new. And 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 you can only pray with the Holy Spirit guiding you. And you will understand it and, 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 and relate it to your life today. And see how you can be. I used to be that person I used to like working when I came to this country. Yes. One day, a friend of mine asked me, you want to tell me you don't have a date of break? I was like, oh, you got to work. If I got one day, say it's okay. But I'm telling you, from the time I started, I, I used to pray. I've been praying. But when I started reading the Bible, one time I said to myself, I said, I don't just want to pray. I want to read my Bible. And I'm a church girl. That's a different thing. But reading the Bible, knowing God for yourself, understanding, reading, knowing the true God for his holy words, it can transform your life. I no longer work that way. As I enjoy my rent, <laughs> let me put it that way. I sleep in my home every night. I, I spend days in my home. I work like I'm not working. Let me tell you, I work like I don't work, but I work and I get paid. But I, it, when, when somebody see me, they would not think that I'm working, but I work, I go to job. But because of the word of God that transformed my life, I cut all of those off. And I set myself by the grace of God, God set me up. And I'm telling you that I have peace. I no longer run from one job to another, moving here and there. Oh, I come to this country, I got to do this. My people back home, my family, I got to take care. I got bills to pay. I got this, I got that. I no longer do all of those things. Because the God that I serve, I depend on him and depend on his voice. And he never fail me. So relate this to your life. Because... We are created by God. And don't let people mock God's creation. When you are in God, your priorities are set. Let me make it clear. When you are in God, your priorities are set. You are not a confused person. No, you, you are not a confused person. And you are not envious, neither jealous. You are content and comfortable. But being content and comfortable doesn't mean that you are you are you are not move, moving forward or you're not doing things to forge ahead. But you are comfortably, peacefully in that position while you're moving forward. So I want to stop here today, my beautiful people. You can take this topic further and learn more and more about it because that's what we are here for. So this, we can, we can use it for the week, dwell on it for the week, pray about it, and ask God to change our lives so that we can put him first in everything. God is not just there when, when we are jammed, when, when we are in problem, then we run to him. No. Even if you do that to your friend, will your friend like that? No. Then why should you expect God to like that when you just come to him when you are in problem? Come to him every day, whether it's good or his bad. Come to him. Just when you're happy, celebrate with God. When you're sad, celebrate with God. In every situation, celebrate. Put him first. And he will always be there for you.
so i want to say thank you <laughs> please don't forget to leave me that comment in the comment section and share these videos share this video monday monday video so that we all can continue learning and sharing the word of god please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon that way you're going to be notified whenever the video comes on like i said i'm back again and we give god all the glory that we are back i've been so busy yes but monday many is back and my other youtube channel is all about being informed inspired and like uh, <laughs> from inspired and motivated it's all there you can watch the other video watch monday monday subscribe to my channel and be a part of my team thank you my beautiful people for those of you that subscribed to the channel while i was away i want to say thank you and we give god all the glory so let us pray heavenly father we thank you for today that we are back Oh, yes, Lord, I'm so grateful because your words never end and never die. All things may pass away, but your words remain the same. So continue, O oh Lord, to pour your spirit in us, to lead us, to guide us, that we'll continue learning and acting upon your words each and every time. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my viewers. So, I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.